American aircraft. This is the PLA Air Force. You are approaching Chinese airspace. Keep a safe distance or you'll be intercepted. I want to talk about China. This is a close encounter with a Chinese warplane. Quite frankly, who the fuck do they think they are? China's heavy presence in the disputed region is putting the U.S. and its allies on notice. CNN got rare access aboard a U.S. Navy surveillance flight and saw firsthand some tense moments with China's military. Here's CNN's Ivan Watson. I hear Republicans talking all the time about how it should be America first. We should blow off the rest of the fucking world. If we're not the world's police, who the fuck's gonna be? Somebody. Do we want it to be these fucking guys? We're getting a close-up look at a Chinese fighter jet. The air crew here identifies it as a J-11, a two-seater that they say is armed with air-to-air -air missiles. And it's been shadowing this U.S. Navy plane now for about 15 minutes. China is now claiming control of the entire South China Sea. And they give us escorts when we fly over it. What the fuck? It is pretty remarkable to see this Chinese warplane operating at such close proximity, just several hundred feet away from our aircraft. We have the right to operate in international waters, and that's what these are. I don't give a fuck if they made little islands. To me, that's just a fucking boat. You can't make land and then claim you owned all the water around it. That's fucking ridiculous. The Chinese fighter escort, part of a regular routine. I'd say it's another Friday afternoon in the South China Sea. And you damn sure can't do it in somebody else's ocean. 30 miles from the Chinese-occupied Paracel Islands, a Chinese voice crackles over the radio. American aircraft. This is the PLA Air Force. You are approaching Chinese airspace. Keep a safe distance or you'll be intercepted. Last I heard, that was Vietnam and the Philippines. Look at a map, motherfucker. You're way fucking north of this sea. 12 miles from China's shoreline, they own. Absolutely. But 13 miles out, they don't own shit. That's when the Chinese People's Liberation Army fighter jet appears, flying so close you can see the pilots in their cockpit. PLA fighter aircraft, this is U.S. Navy P-8 on VHF-121-5. I hold you off my left wing and I intend to continue to proceed to the west. The Chinese pilot never responds, but eventually leaves when the U.S. plane turns south. It's like oil spots as they build as they build on one reef and then build on another. Commodore Will Torreson shows the network of man-made islands China built on what had been coral reefs claimed by other countries. And now, they're thinking about giving weapons to Putin? Well. Let me see if I can remember. What did we do to the weapons manufacturers that made bombs for the Nazis? We executed them. Actually, uh, uh, for the guys that made the missiles, we took them to NASA and then won the space race with them. But everybody else, we executed. Our number one focus here is to ensure that we have uh, continued access uh, alongside all of our allies and partners to international airspace and international waters. The U.S. presence here aimed at preventing further encroachment by China. Excellent, Charlie, copy, no worries. We're flying at a low altitude, a thousand feet, a little more than 300 meters above sea level, east of Taiwan, looking for a Chinese warship currently believed to be operating in these stormy waters. It is a war crime to provide the weapon to mass genocide. To my mind, it's a war crime if you provide a blanket to the person who committed mass genocide. As long as you're providing blankets, China, they don't have to make blankets. U.S. aircraft, U.S. aircraft, this is Chinese Navy warship. You are approaching me. Keep safe distance away from me. Over. I'm a United States 
military aircraft and now our main estate is to our unit. A cat and mouse game between two rival militaries in one of the most hotly contested regions in the world. This idea that China can provide non-lethal help to the war effort. Bullshit. If you provide food, they don't have to make food. They can make tanks. If you provide coats, they don't have to make coats. They can make more missiles. China needs not get involved in this. Russia has claimed for years that they got the best army in the world. Then surely they can take care of Ukraine. Anybody who helps them is on the side of evil. Watch Fox News. They say something a bit different. Reportedly planning to hold hearings on the Biden administration's response to the toxic train wreck in East Palestine, Ohio. And one way or another, they're going to figure out how Hunter Biden sabotaged that train. <laughs> because Republicans seem to believe that Russia is going to be our savior one day. This bitch from Delaware that the Republicans ran for Senate. Lauren... Witzbitsky, something like that? Lauren Witzky, something like that? Before she ever ran for Senate, she called for stopping immigration of African Americans and Jews. Before the Republicans made her the nominee and put her on the ballot to run for Senate, she called for arranged marriages now the bitch wants Putin to invade us. We are just drifting farther and farther away from God, and God help us. That, like, you know, what we, what can you say? Pray for these people, because we are absolutely going astray as a nation. And, um, oh, I think Putin will liberate us. I don't even know what to say. Listen, like, I'm, like, shocked. Listen, that is perfectly fair for us to say. People are going to be like, my goodness, you, what are you, like, bunch of pro Putler? Bunch of, are you a bunch of Putlers? You know, because they, they like to quantify it. And I'll tell you this. I wish we had a we leader. We are Christians that we hear a world leader talk about the Holy Scriptures not in a manner that's denigrating. Not that it's, like, a characteristic of an extremist or a terrorist. That's our government's position right now. Watch Fox News anytime. They're on the side of Putin. Tucker Carlson? Hell, they show clips of him on Russian television. Because he's a propaganda wing of the Republican Party. And the Republican Party wants Putin to win and then come here and fix our Christian nation. Because just like in Russia, they got rid of all the Jews. They got rid of all their dark-skinned people. Почти так же, как военнослужащий ВСУ на репортера Fox News на своих коллег срывается ведущий этого канала Такер Карлсон, а заодно и на всю администрацию Байдена. Какие же мерзкие эти люди. И, конечно же, они продвигают войну, а не поддержку демократии. Украина не демократия, никогда ей не была. China? You better not join Russia. Because then you are helping a war criminal. Republicans already have joined Russia. I don't know what we call them. Fucking traitors. Or have they fallen so far from grace that the party that once was known for standing up against communism now supports a KGB agent over America. <laughs> I guess that's where we are. Y'all take it easy. I'm Zachariah, Lone Star Liberal.